Hi everybody, Joe here from Show to Speak Photography. Nice to see your smiling faces again. Um, if you've been following along with my channel, you know that I broke my elbow in quarantine and um, on the mend now. I had surgery on Friday and uh, pain starting to become a little bit more manageable now. So I can uh, be back here on YouTube and uh, making a new video for you, which is great because it's a great distraction from this, that's for sure. And uh, aside from that, it's also a great distraction from sitting around watching uh, way too much Netflix. And uh, well, one fun thing was uh, I did do a pretty nice project with this guy here. Um, get him a Target for about $15. Star Wars action figure and basically put him on my couch and went from that action figure there to this. And I'm gonna make a video in the future and I'll show you how that was done. It's a little bit more of a substantial video. So since I'm still in the healing mode, let's just go with an easy one because of this today. But this is a great video. This is a fun video. This is um, color grading an image in Photoshop or Lightroom using any color combination that you want. I'm going to show you how to do it in Lightroom. I'm going to show you how to do a very similar look and feel in Photoshop and you can pick which one you like better but either choice you can end up with a great image and the nice thing about this is you don't need a lookup table. You don't have to buy a color lookup table from anywhere. Um, you don't have to worry about having the right filter or preset. Anyone can do this in Lightroom. Anyone can do this in Photoshop. Any color combination. Let's get started. Okay everybody, so here on my screen in Lightroom we have this photo of our cowgirl. First I'm going to give you a quick run through in Photoshop. Probably for me that would be the preferred method to color grade this in Photoshop. Um, but I'm going to show you both ways. I'm going to show you what the differences are so you can decide you could do it in either. I just think that for me the finished product comes out a little bit better in Photoshop. But again, it's going to be your choice. So let's right click on this and edit in. And let's open this as a smart object in Photoshop. And as we wait for that to open up. Let's see, did it open? Okay, there it is. Great. Okay, so here we are inside Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to want to do with this image is I'm going to always duplicate the layer. So Command J, yes, I can just barely do that right handed. Okay, so we got a duplicate layer. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually duplicate that again. Okay, and now I'm going to take this second layer and I'm going to take the blend mode and I'm going to set that to multiply. Okay, and that just darkens up all the dark areas of this image and I'm going to drop the opacity to about 50%. And essentially what we're doing is we're just really kicking up a lot of contrast in that image there in those dark areas. Okay, because we want it to have a nice cinematic movie look. Now, the color grade that I would like to apply to an image like this is going to be the typical blue and orange color grading that you see in tons of movies and TV shows. This is a super popular color combination for color grading. Orange works great on the skin tones. Blue works great in the sky. And we have this really cool line right here with the gun. And this is going to be kind of a balancing or a tipping point for us. So we're going to make this part of the image here, the blue, and this part of the image, the orange, that's going to complement the skin tones and the outfit and it's going to work really great. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to add a gradient. Okay so the gradient fill option comes up and we have a lot of power to color grade this image right here within this gradient fill. So some other ways you could do this would be to apply a solid color. You could apply a color lookup table but applying a color lookup table assumes you actually have the color combination in a lookup table that you want. Okay, so I want a basic blue and orange, and maybe I actually do have that in a lookup table. I have a bunch of them, I'm not sure, but we're gonna create one. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. 
So when you hit this drop down box, you're going to see that Photoshop comes with a ton of different gradients, basics, which is basic black and white, basic blues, and you can open these all up <clears throat> and see different color combinations, basic oranges. Okay. So what I want to create here is again, I want to create that nice blue to orange. So I'm going to choose this one. Now I know it's not blue to orange, but we're going to fix that. Okay. So now the easy way to fix that is we're just now, now that we've filled it with this orange to yellow, which isn't bad. What you have to do is just click right here in this box where it says gradient, click on that color. And this box here opens up. Now here is one end. Here's the other end. Now this end that's yellow. I'm just going to click this little box right here. Okay. This color option appears right here. We click on this and I can choose the blue that I want right there. So that's the old color. This is going to be the new color. All I have to do is say, okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to tweak this a little bit. This is a little too red for my taste. So I'm going to bump up the yellow a little bit till it's a little bit more of the orange that I'm kind of looking for. That's a nice orange there. That looks good. And this middle point really defines where the blend between the blue and orange is. Okay. So we'll leave that somewhere in the middle for now. And we're going to go just say, okay. So now we have our blue and orange combination. Now we just need to change the angle because again, remember we have the gun defining the middle of that image and that's what we want to be our blue and orange. So by changing this angle, that changes the angle of our gradient. And let's see if we can get that right about there. It looks pretty good. So let's say, okay, now we're going to come back here and we're just going to change this blend mode to soft light. Okay. And right away we can see the, the change. I have it backwards, not to worry, easy to fix. Let's just, again, we wanted the blue on this side, orange on this side. I set it backwards. So we're just going to click back here on the gradient, double click. And we're going to change the angle to this way. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to click in the middle here and we're going to define our midpoint. So basically we're going to just take this here and we're going to drag it over. And as we do that, you can see the position of the orange changes in the image. Um, it actually looks pretty good right there. So again, I want the gun to be the change point. So I do want the orange right here, blue to this side, orange to that side. I like it like that. I'm going to click OK and OK again. Now we have what looks like some pretty good grading in there. Now we're just going to take the opacity down, bring that down to say, yeah, maybe 50% or so. So let me show you what we've done so far. If I can, here we go. So we started here and there. So you see the difference with the color grading applied now. So now we have that cinematic look and maybe because we have a cowgirl, what I'd like to do is take the saturation down. So I'm going to click on you and saturation and we'll bring the saturation down maybe to somewhere around there. That looks good. Okay. And again, I can do this with the elbow. There we go from here to here. before, after. And that really gives it a nice kind of movie look now. I really like that. So then let's see if we can create the same thing in Lightroom. Okay. We're here in Lightroom. Let's see what we can do to recreate the look and feel of what we had in Photoshop. So we can take the graduated filter here and Right here, you'll see color. This may be set to a blank, but right now mine sets orange and it's actually exactly what I would want is orange. And I'm going to drag out a filter this way. Okay. And that's going to apply orange to this side of our image. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to hit it again and I'm going to click on blue 
and blue is in the selected colors of the, the top. I'm going to pick that one. And now I'm going to draw out this way with the blue. And there we go. And I'm going to click done. And that's pretty good. And now I'm going to actually just bring it over the basic and we'll drop down the uh, saturation. And it's pretty close. So here's the Lightroom version. And there's the Photoshop version. Lightroom. Photoshop. I kind of like the moodiness of this overall a little bit more, especially in this area. But this is good too. Um, you know, maybe I would want to take those blues down a little bit in the HSL uh, column. So let's look at maybe the saturation of the blues. Let's see if we brought that down a little bit. That's pretty nice. So now let's compare that again to Photoshop. A little bit more of a purpley feel there, but you see by, by kind of tweaking this, we could get a very similar feel here in Lightroom as we did in Photoshop. So there you go. Two really simple, fun ways to color grade an image, both in Lightroom or Photoshop. And again, here's the great part of this. Any colors you want any colors. So you don't have to worry about searching around the internet for color lookup tables. You don't have to go crazy uh, looking for any kind of special filters or presets. You just have to have an idea in your mind. Hey, wouldn't it be cool if we applied orange on this side, blue on this side, red over here, green over here, whatever it might be. Generally complementary colors, one on one side, one on the other. Okay. And, and, you have just the limits of the creativity of your mind. So there you have it. Hey, I hope you found that useful. Um, I enjoyed making this video for you. Got me away from thinking about this for a little while. And if you've been following along, or maybe if you haven't been following along, um, this is a new channel really could use your help by hitting the subscribe button and ringing the bell so that you get notified of future videos. Um, happy to answer questions. If you have a question, leave me a question in the comments. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, I'm always happy to answer people on Messenger or send me an email. So uh, let's connect and show me some stuff that you made um, based on this tutorial. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.